Hi everybody, this is Mitch Wagner from Light Reading. I'm here at a big uh, Cisco event in San Francisco with Jonathan Davidson. Jonathan, what's your title at Cisco? Remind me again, please. I am the Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Service Provider Business. Okay. Which basically means I'm responsible for engineering, product management for mobility, optical, cable, routing, and automation. All right, so tell us about what your news is here today. It looked, it looked pretty big. It's very big. So we're very excited to be able to, to share, uh, finally, with everyone what we've been working on for the past several years. So a whole new family of platforms, the Cisco 8000 series, that's based on a clean sheet architecture uh, for the Silicon One, and also a reimagined OS with iOS XR7, which brings a whole new level of simplicity, brings a whole new level of trustworthiness directly baked into the software tied directly down to the hardware and of course we've enhanced it with the first carrier class network OS that is cloud enhanced with a couple of really important cloud services. Okay, so let's go step by step on this. Let's start with the silicon. What's, what's, what's the importance there? What's the big deal? So the silicon is, is a clean sheet architecture from the people who've been building silicon for the past two plus decades and so they're able to look at how do we go and take the, the features that we need from a routing perspective and the performance and power savings that you need from a switch perspective, be able to combine those into a common entity so you can have a common engine regardless of where it sits inside of your network infrastructure. And so they've been able to accomplish the impossible. Uh, and so we're very excited about that. That clean sheet architecture really, really helped. We have the world's fastest routing silicon at 10.8 terabits on a single chip. And also you can use that single chip not only for a line card, but for the fabric, as well as for a system on a chip. So if you have a single CPU or single ASIC-based system at 10.8 terabits, you just need one chip. And that is revolutionary. No one else in the industry can touch us from a, from a routing perspective. So why is it important to have the same silicon at different points in the network? Why does that matter? Well, it's great for, for anyone who's building a network OS <laughs> to have consistency of being able to write to a common SDK so that I can generate features faster from an operator perspective, so from the service provider perspective, I'm actually able to go and get consistency of behavior, consistency of operations, and I can integrate new technology into my network faster. And if I can integrate technology into my network faster, that means I can take advantage of that innovation cycle, which is coming out every 12, 18 months, and then integrate that into my network, which means my cost structure drops more rapidly, and also my operational cost will drop as well because I'm getting consistency across all of my platforms, across my entire network. Okay, so now you actually have uh, the 8000 line that you just announced today. Yes. Talk about that a little bit, please. So Cisco 8000, uh, we're doing a little bit differently. So the software, the XR7 software, we actually started shipping that back in August of this year on a different platform. Okay. The Cisco 8000, we started shipping to paying customers in October of this year. So it's already been shipping for a couple of months. And then we're going to generally make that available uh, in, in the first half of next calendar year. So we decided to... We're launching and we're already shipping. How often does that happen in service provider? Um, not only that, but we feel as though we're very ahead of where the competition is because they launched things six to eight months ago and they haven't even shipped yet. But from a paper to paper perspective, we know we're already better than what they announced six months ago and they haven't shipped. So they've got a ways to catch up. And I know in the past, we've been leapfrogging with core routers, like we're faster, they're faster, we're faster, they're faster, but we think we've hit a point in time where it's going to be very difficult for them to catch up because of this clean sheet approach and silicon systems and software. Okay, and let's talk about the software yeah. a little bit. What's, what's, what's the highlights there? So, so we've reimagined the software. We actually spent a lot of time removing code from, uh, from the software. We also are enabling our customers to pick the capabilities and features they want. They can build what we call a golden image that they can then download onto the system, which means the image is smaller, which means it downloads faster across their infrastructure. Um, but also means they don't have things in it that, that they maybe don't want inside of that inside of that package. We also have built it from a trustworthy perspective, which means is you have a piece of hardware with trust anchor module, which then hands off to the software, and we can validate that the hardware is the hardware, the software is the software. But we also can do it at runtime as well. So we're going to validate on an ongoing basis that the system is secure and trusted, and then we're going to help you understand what's happening across your entire network because we have a cloud-based service to let you know visibility across every element in your network that this is a trusted system. And by the way, we didn't say it on stage, but this is not just for the Cisco 8000. This cloud service is for any router that we've been shipping for the past two years. 
Okay, so what, what is the importance to service providers here? Why does this matter? Why should they care? Well, every service provider wants to be able to reduce their CapEx cost. And as they're moving to 400 gig, you need a cost-effective platform that enables them to do that. So having something that has 75 to 80% less power per 100 gig port is revolutionary. So that's what a clean sheet approach gives you, is dramatic power savings. There's also going to be phenomenal operational savings as well, not just because of what I talked about um, from the cloud perspective on trust. We talked a little bit on stage about the cloud enabling them to more rapidly test our product with their configuration and their version of code that they want to go out to market with uh, in a cloud-based environment, which means that they can go from three, six, nine, 12 months of testing down to a few days of testing, and then they can put that product into their network, which means that if they can accelerate the time to new product, it means they can decrease their costs over time because they're getting that innovation faster. Okay, so when we talk to service providers, what they're, what they're demanding from us is um, they want more disaggregation, more open systems, more movement to white boxes, um, multi-vendor sourcing rather than a single source. And here you're coming and saying, hey, we have everything. We're all set. That's kind of moving in the opposite direction from the industry, isn't it? How are you going to how are you gonna work that? So I think having the, the different people on the panel today uh, talking about how we're actually not just have this one system, the Cisco 8000 family, but that we've embraced these different business models. Let's so, back up a second. When you say different people on the panels today, what, what, what right. class of people, what kinds of people? So uh, they have, obviously, I'll go through one by a time, right? Okay. So, we talked uh, to Chris Rice, at and okay. who talked about iOS XR and how that can work on white boxes from other silicon vendors and go to any ODM. And so obviously that is one angle, right? So you take this XR7, which is disaggregated, so it can run on our platforms and it can run on any third-party merchant silicon as well. So that's exciting news, so people can buy that if they would like to. Um, the second is we talked to Facebook, and we've been partnering uh, with them through TIP and OCP on how to take silicon to OCP, the new Silicon One family, but also if someone wants to take that silicon and put it in, a, in an ODM chassis and use that with their own OS, they can go do that. Um, we talked uh, with Microsoft today, with Yousef on stage, about how you can take the Sonic software and put that directly onto the Cisco 8000 family, which enables you to go and, for the first time, put Sonic on a distributed system. This has never happened before, and we're partnering with them to make that happen. Uh, and then, of course, you had Noam uh, Raffaele from Comcast who talked about that integrated system, how that integrated system really makes sense for how Comcast builds out their infrastructure as the market-leading subscri home subscriber in the United States. Okay. So it's a phenomenal panel. All right, great. Well, thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you.